<laughs> Mr. Leaky Leaker. Leaky Leakerson. Leaky Leaky. Say that ten times fast. Leaky Leakerson. Leaky Leakerson. Leaky. Le when you're the Leaky Leaker, you could say it quick. We're talking discs. You guys asked for it in the comments of the last few videos we've done, where we've done collections. You wanted Drews. You wanted the Leakers. We've already gone through a few. Some pretty sick ones. I'm kind of jealous. So we're gonna dive right into these. Yeah, there's. A, I mean, there's a lot of stories we told in here. First off, like this whole rack here is. Pretty much all SDS or Star DS destroyers, um, you know, like this bottom stamp, SDS, Domi, just stuff you like literally can't get anymore. Um, you know, like, oh, you want with the oil slick jump man on it? Oh no, we're gonna get a lawsuit coming soon. Um, <laughs> no, so I mean, just a lot of stuff like, since they've come out with the Halo stuff, I haven't really had a need to bust into this collection a lot, which is actually kind of nice because they're never going to make them. So having them kind of dead stock here and just chilling is pretty cool. So again, I just try to keep the stuff on these racks. Huge shout out to Heiser Disc Racks for hooking me up with these actually like with their logos on them and everything like that. So definitely pretty cool touch um, to have in the office. But I mean, overall, just try to keep the stuff that either I'm going to throw or has some like sentimental meaning to me. One disc that just caught my eye that I remembered about. This was Paul Uliberry's disc when he was on Innova in 2012. So he used it, you know, for five years. When he went to Prodigy initially, gave it to me. Um, I remember the moment how much he loved this disc of the sidearm. Um, and when he went to Prodigy, like I said, he's like, hey, I want you to have this. So even if I never throw this disc again, I have a few aces with it. Um, it's obviously <laughs> seen some wear and tear and probably a few too many trees and roots and roads and water or whatever. Um, but even if I never throw this disc again, just the fact that Paul gave it to me and, you know, trust me with a disc that he used to love is pretty cool. So, lots of stuff in here. Um, I mean, we have a collection of rocks when I used to throw the rock. Um, I still have them. I've kept on hanging on to them because, you know, never know when you're going to want to switch. Even have some cooler, like, a brand new 11-time rock, 9-time rock, some stuff that's harder to find. Probably have some old, like, Avery Jenkins stuff in here if we looked hard enough. Um... Avery was kind enough to kind of hook me up with some really cool stuff. So, have some pretty good, like, legendary stuff in here. I mean, obviously we have finish line stuff. We have here pretty much the first finish line this era ever made. We actually dyed it to do, like, promotional videos because we didn't have a stamp yet. So, I had it dyed just so we could uh, make some stuff with it. And then we have a composite Supra here, which we've never even made. So... I think I have both of the ones that exist. So just some pretty cool stuff, even down to like the 3D prints of our molds. Um, we have the era here, and then our two of our four new molds for this year. Um, we already have, and I'm approving and testing. So obviously not testing these, but you know we're working on them. So stuff's in the works. I have a lot of cool stuff. I mean, stuff people have made. Um, that ends up sitting in my office and looking pretty cool, so. Maybe show us a couple of these things a little bit and then let's head out and maybe take a look at the trophy. Okay, Las Vegas trophy back here. Uh, someone in Australia actually made this cool little mini, so gave it to me, pretty cool little gift. Um, here's the putter I won Portland Open with, like the actual putter that went in the basket on the very last hole, so. Has a Leopard 3 <laughs> stamp on it. So pretty cool, again, just stuff that like, you know, you can't replace. Like, I could never get another one of these putters that I made the final putt with. Um, I have some other, like, memorabilia. Like, last year I went to Sunday at the Masters Golf Tournament. Um, my, like, Pro Tour credentials from last year for support and caddy and stuff like that. Um, some other events I've played. So, just trying to keep some stuff that uh, means something to me or might mean something to me down the road. There's a lot of stuff in here, so sometimes it's... I mean, there's USCDC... Relic stuff down there. Um, the laptop editing station. So this is where I make all my videos and stuff like that. So just kind of depends on what uh, what's going on in here and depends on the vibe for the day. So sometimes I'm digging through here looking for discs to put in the bag. Like all those down there I've kind of been testing lately and uh, trying to work in the bag or see what I want to do for Vegas. Um, and then, you know, have GoPro and my pods and all types of stuff. So. Uh, we could go check out the trophy though if you'd like. Real quick question, what's probably the most priceless disc in here? Like the one that didn't matter the price, like you couldn't get rid of it. Mm. It's back in it's back in my bag um, right now, but it would be the 
yellow buzz with the ring around it. People have offered me like five grand for it and I haven't sold it. So I figure if I'm not gonna sell it at five grand, I'm probably not gonna sell it for any amount of money. Um, but that's a disc that kind of like shaped my open bagness really, you know, and kind of made me from well known for the rock to well known for the buzz. So definitely a disc that's kind of helped shape my career, helped shape the design of the Supra um, from finish line. So a lot of stuff went into that that uh, you can't really get back. So it's not in here, but it is in my bag, but it's definitely a disc that I own that I would probably not ever get rid of. So just, uh, and then there's other stuff in here like some fun things that Infinite sent me over the years that's like things I don't think I'll ever throw, but still cool to keep and cool to have. Kobe Bryant. Yeah, that's a great Kobe. Who's the GOAT? Oh, uh, I mean, I gotta say Michael Jordan, but I might be biased. So, yeah, Jordan is definitely the GOAT. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I mean, if you never lose in the finals, it's gonna be tough to argue against that person. But so here we have the, I mean, bookshelf, but as you can tell, it's not very booky. Um, if you're interested in Miller, Miller Lite or Dos Equis, um, there's some over there, so make sure to come get yours. Uh, in the backyard, a bunch of baskets, uh, putting green for golf as well. We can go in the garage, there's Here, more let me, show, let me show this trophy real quick, I didn't get a good. You did that. I did that, <laughs> 2019 I think. I'm good for one every two years. Better than some, not as good as others. The garage. <laughs> Um, where to start? So this is all of the discs that I have for 2023 in the RV. So they're all in bins and or boxes to kind of restock the bins. Um, so whether it's clinics, vending at events or whatever, um, these are discs I'm going to be having on tour. A um, mixture of finish line discs, some disc craft stuff, uh, of course some infinite stuff. So just kind of all mixed in there depending on what we got for the week and how fast they sell is going to be the stock. So. If you see our events or anything like that, uh, please make sure to sign up. Please make sure to support. Um, I know I appreciate it. I know that us running the events, you know, takes a lot to put on events sometimes. So the, the support is much appreciated. Um, have some old, like I used to race dirt bikes and stuff. So I have some of my helmets uh, hung up. Have uh, try to keep it a little organized just to make it easier to find things when you break stuff. Do you like Monopoly? Uh, Monopoly less than just like the reading these you know sometimes you're in here working on stuff or doing things and it's like you know take the risk or lose the chance it's just stuff that kind of keeps you motivated you're out here organizing or working on the cars or getting the rv packed or whatever and it's just something to kind of look at and remind you of probably staying positive or staying on the grind so this there there's actually this behind this can am here um with boxes ready to go in the rv to vegas and then more this here this is more so of like Stuff I've used in like YouTube videos, um, old putters I had putted with, uh, some like a bunch of like the first Supras we had. Um, just this a lot of times I've tested and that, you know, I, I throw them in the trunk of the car then every once in a while I empty them out into here um, because I'm probably not gonna use them or good discs if people come over and need a disc or whatever it might be. So definitely stuff that I still care about but like you know, I could give to a friend or something like that and not be as upset about the the stuff in the office. Any other questions there, pal? See, now you're putting me on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> come on. You can't just oh, stand man. there and hold the camera. It gets hard when, uh, like when you're surrounded by so many discs and I never get to see this amount of discs in my life. Well, I guess I infinite. But like, I love the stories. Not open. Um, I mean, my bag's in there. I mean, the, the putters that I made all the putts with at Pro Tour Championship, you know, are in my bag. Um, that buzz that you know, I've kind of made famous is in there. So there are also a lot of discs that, that mean a lot to me. Um, things that have, like I said, shaped my career in one way or the other. Um, things that have made it easier to play good and, and discs that I believed in that actually weren't as good as I thought they were. So um, sometimes you have a broken TV. Um, sometimes you have darts. This kind of depends on <laughs> what's going on in here. So all types of fun stuff going on. Thanks to Connor for coming out. Thanks to you guys for checking it out. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop the comments down below. Connor will try to answer them all for you guys because he's in charge of this, not me, and he does a great job. So make sure you're asking him all the questions and I'm gonna tell him the answer so that <laughs> he feels like it's coming from him. Yeah, just let me do all the work and uh, and you just have a good time and play disc golf, right? Yeah. That's your job. Yeah, that's my job. Your job <laughs> is media creation. My job is uh, to throw Frisbees and drive Can-Ams, I guess. <laughs> yeah, what a life that must be. <laughs> 
Anyways, that was nice and easy, right? Yeah. I kind of like that. I digged it. Hey, that's Drew right there. Just yeah. so you know. Yeah. Yeah, my dad's calling. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Anyways, real quick, if you have any other pros that you want to see their videos, if you have some stories of maybe like individual discs in his bag that you want to learn more about, drop in the comments. Well, if they do it, if you get this out quick enough and they ask quick enough, we can do another one at Vegas. Maybe I'll post this. Tonight. <laughs> I'll do my best. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. And thank you to all of you guys who support Connor and his hard work. You know, he's, he traveled up here and at night, he's about to drive six more hours. I'm yeah. gonna stay at the house, he doesn't wanna stay. I'm not welcoming enough, but no. either way, it's <laughs> okay. having you, <laughs> you guys, you know, watching and supporting this stuff, not only for him, for me, for Infinite, you know, we all appreciate it. So thank you so much for clicking. Thanks for making it this far on the video. Hopefully you've had some laughs. Hopefully you learned something. Thanks for tuning in. And if you stayed this long, Drew's giving away his most favorite buzz that he talked about earlier so yeah that's what's going on it's coming out of connor's paycheck yes anyways all right <laughs> peace out see ya bye